Daniel Sports Center, we go for a March Madness game preview and prediction on the Sweet 16 matchup between the Purdue Boilermakers and the Gonzaga Bulldogs, two teams that have had strong runs so far in this tournament. Purdue's been a team that in recent time has struggled in March Madness. They've been upset and uh, they've been taken out of this tournament early multiple times in recent years. But this feels like a different year for Purdue. They've been dominant so far in this tournament. It feels like this could be the year that they make a run for the Final Four. But Gonzaga on the other side, this is potentially the most dangerous team left in this tournament. They're a five seed, but they're playing like a much higher seed right now. Two dominant wins so far in this tournament. Taking down a dangerous McNeese team and then uh, beating up Kansas by 21 in the end. So Gonzaga is not a team to overlook at this current point. This is bound to be an interesting matchup coming up here in the Sweet 16. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today. Let's get started with their team trends. Purdue beat Grambling 78-50 to in the first round and then took care of Utah State 106-67. to Utah State had a really impressive win against TCU in the first round. Uh, but they just had no answers against Zach eating Purdue in the second round. So uh, for Purdue at this current point, two dominant wins so far. Uh, they're back in the Sweet 16. This is a team that I feel like, I mean, many are saying this is finally their year to make a run for a national title, which makes sense. This is a good enough team to make a run. It's just the fact that they've been upset prone in recent years, and that is something that does worry me. And we sometimes see history repeat itself in that way. But Purdue as a whole, you look at this team, they are absolutely a team that could win a national championship. If you look at Gonzaga, beat McNeese 86 to 65, had no problems against them, and then beat Kansas 89 to 68 in the second round. Kansas, a team that's been a bit bumpy down the stretch, but Gonzaga to pull away in the second half, really impressive performance there for the Bulldogs. And I feel like, I mean, this is a really coached Gonzaga team. Mark Few uh, once again gets Gonzaga into the Sweet 16. I mean, that's something that's dangerous. And Gonzaga is a team that's had a reputation for performing really well in March Madness versus a Purdue team that hasn't really had that reputation in recent years. So for Purdue, this is really the game where it's make or break for them. I feel like if they win this game, uh, the Boilers are definitely a team that I would expect to probably end up in the Final Four and even in the National Championship game. But games beyond Friday, the 29th in Detroit, tip-off is just after 7.30 Eastern. Spreads going Purdue by five and a half here. So, and it did open as four and a half. So, uh, Purdue has increased as a favorite in recent time over under 154 and a half. And the BPI is also going on the boiler side 77%. You look in the Midwest region. On the other side, I'd say there's a pretty favorable matchup for either one of these teams. Uh, although Tennessee at their highest level is really tough, but you could say the same about Cray. And so, I wouldn't say it's going to be easy by any means, but. I mean, Purdue or Gonzaga, I probably would favor against either team between Creighton or Tennessee, whoever wins that one, uh, just based on the way both teams are playing as of now. Beer stack comparison, Purdue, 84 points a game, one of the best offenses really in the country that is centered around Zach Eady. He's averaging 25 a game this season. I mean, that's, that's no secret. Zach Eady has been uh, one of the main faces of college basketball the past few years and rightfully so he is a dominant player that is brutal to contain and brutal to stop and we saw that uh, when they played utah state you look at the defense 70 points a lab per game which isn't terrible uh, but this team is especially good on offense and you really could say the same about gonzaga who's averaging 85 points a game this season allowing 69 Although Purdue has played a more difficult schedule, that really goes without saying. They're 8-0 against the top 25, so they've especially excelled in big games uh, while Gonzaga is 3-3 against the top 25. And Purdue has taken four losses this season despite being 8-0 in ranked matchups. Uh, but I wouldn't say any of their four losses were necessarily bad. Your key points, Purdue 31 wins this season. This team is in position for a deep run, and I really feel like this is kind of the turning point in the tournament for Purdue. They've had a couple of really dominant wins. I still feel this way. If they can win this matchup, I probably would favor them in the Elite Eight for sure. And then I could definitely see this team competing for a national championship. It's just, can they get past the Sweet 16? Can they uh, beat a very dangerous Gonzaga team at this current point? Uh, that's the main question for the Boilers right now. Uh, but this is a strong all-around team that's brutal to beat. They're seeking their sixth ever Elite Eight, and it would be their first since 2019. You compare that with Gonzaga, though. I mean, you can just see how 
How well coached of a team this is, seeking their 60th lead eight since 2015. That's the difference between these two teams is uh, Gonzaga's sustained success over recent years, over the past couple of decades. And this team has really emerged as a dangerous team at this current point that should not be overlooked. Uh, they're a consistent, and this was also a dominant team down the stretch. Honestly, I mean, I know this Gonzaga team maybe isn't quite as experienced or talented as maybe some past Gonzaga teams, and that's why this team was uh, picked to not go very far. But this is, once again, I feel like an overlooked Gonzaga team at this current point is a very dangerous thing, and uh, this is definitely one of those games that could go either way. But with that, let's get the prediction here for Purdue and Gonzaga coming up here in the Sweet 16. Definitely a game to keep an eye on, and with that, I am going with the favorite here. I'm taking Purdue to win this game 82 to 75, but I am taking Purdue cautiously here. I think that the Boilers do find a way to win this one. Uh, just based on the first couple of games, it seems like Purdue is ready to make a run in this tournament, more so than they were in the past few years. Now, but Gonzaga, it's something about this team that does make me nervous as Purdue takes them on. Uh, just Gonzaga, as well coached of a team as they are, they're going to put up a fight and it's I mean, I can't imagine Purdue blows them out. It's probably going to be close. I do think Purdue ends up covering the spread at least, uh, which is at five and a half right now. But I'm taking Purdue 51%. So uh, pretty cautious with this one. And it also, I mean, it also helps that this has been a pretty chalky tournament overall, which kind of uh, can show that there's a pretty big gap between uh, the top five or six teams in the country and the rest of them. Uh, but I do got Purdue winning this one. I'm taking the over as well. They've especially play well in big game situations that's also the reason why i'm going with the boilers here uh, but this is still a game that could definitely go either way but let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup who do you have advancing to the elite eight and i appreciate you guys watching as always my name is evan the soul sports central stay tuned for more we'll catch you on the next one